There's been a lot of change to the game engine here in Season 18 of Apex Legends, and with some of these changes, there has been pretty much a crippling blow dealt to data mining, but we did get one piece of information before it was too late, and that was that cross-progression had made its way into the game files, and there was some interesting things to note, particularly in that file, and now we have some inside information suggesting that account merging could be coming with cross progression and today we're going to be taking a look at everything we know about the upcoming cross progression changes but first if you enjoy the channel how about taking the time to like this video and if you're new smash down the subscribe button with the notification bell so that you can be alerted anytime that i drop a new video and of course guys the Harbinger's Collection event is rolling up on us fairly soon with the Fuse Heirloom. And if you want a chance to win that, check out the link in the description down below. You'll find multiple ways to enter as well as daily entries that'll help you increase your odds of winning and hooking you up with 18,000 Apex coins, which I'm sure would help your inventory out in a cross progression scenario. And of course, guys, let's get into it regarding cross progression. We obviously have this game file that popped up and a lot of people are excited about that but one of the main things to note in there is this specific line that says set main profile block login now arguably speaking this could mean a lot of things but when you look at the information that we do have from an inside source and the rest of what's listed there it does make a lot more sense as the information that has been tossed around is that the way account merging will in fact work is that any paid cosmetic will in fact be merged across all accounts and you won't have to worry about any of those items as your spent money will be honored and valued. However, they're not planning on changing the ranked system for cross progression, which means that there is only 3000 predator spots available with only 750 per platform. And essentially speaking, that particular line of code means that when you log in on any platform, it's going to detect what platform you've logged in on. So if you're on PS4, it's going to know you're on a PS4. And if you're on PC, it's going to know you're on PC. And your LP will actually change so that your ranking will change depending on what platform you're actually on. Giving them the independence of rankings for the you know overall integrity of competitive to stay the same while also allowing you to have all your kills all your skins and all your general goodness that you've been able to collect over the last four years all in one place now there is obviously some caveats to this in that arguably speaking you're not really going to be losing any of your badges you just won't be able to use them unless you're on the platform that they are properly tied to does this really change anything for most players? Not too much. I think a majority of us want our heirlooms. We want our skins. We want the things we spent money on. We can earn new badges. We can get new rewards like that. So it's definitely, I think, better this way than any other way. But of course, I'd love to hear what you guys say as the community because that makes the most sense. So leave a comment down below and let me know how you feel about the account merging, not carrying over your ranked rewards and your badges etc let me know how that actually affects you and if it's going to change your mind on switching platforms and of course if you want to continue this conversation head on over to the social media links they're up on the screen as well as in the description down below give them a like a favor to follow whatever you haven't done already it'll be greatly appreciated and it helps the channel out as we move through the season and into the craziness that is the future of apex legends and of course, guys, if you need shorter form factor videos with all the same punch and news information, then check out the link to Apex Minutes. It's my second YouTube channel. I do 60 second Apex news briefings so that you have a much shorter, easier to digest form factor. But that about wraps it up. Here's another video you should check out if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And don't forget, you won't be able to enjoy cross progression or any of the account merging awesomeness. If you don't stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, have a good one.